Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So we finally have some news in Battlefield 2042. That's something odd. It's not really something that happens a lot these days, but we're finally here with some news and it's a new event. It's actually a Halloween event called Circle of Hell. It goes live on October 29th and it's going to bring some hardcore experiences, a new event pass, which is something uh, like Battle Pass, but with some fewer tiers. And we've got new store items new cosmetics and more importantly guys we have a vault weapon coming to the game the m1 garand which is coming to all out warfare it's gonna have some more attachments and we finally get one more vault weapon in the all out warfare there is also a roadmap for this event as well so we're gonna take a look at everything that is coming to the game with this event and we're gonna see how things will go in the upcoming month because the circle of hell event is gonna take one straight month so Without further ado, if you guys enjoyed the video, do make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. I cover everything about Battlefield and the worthwhile FPS games out there. So do make sure to do that so you won't miss out on the future content. So let's get straight into things. So Circle of Hell is a brand new four weeks long time limited event coming to Battlefield 2042 on October 29th, 2024. With it, Hardcore Mode, a fan favorite of our Battlefield community, will be available for Conquest, Rush, and Breakthrough. Additionally, players can earn free and premium rewards from the Spooky Circle of Hell event pass including the m1 garant which will be making its way from battlefield portal to all out warfare i'm not really sure about why they wanted to include hardcore for a straight month that's like a big question mark for me because the hardcore players are like one to two percent of the total battlefield players hardcore isn't really like a big fan favorite mode it's basically the favorite of a minority of the whole player base so i don't know what was the mindset there but anyway hardcore during the circle of hell event is more lethal immersive and will test your skills like never before in battlefield 2042 loadouts and hardcore lock your primary weapon based on your class selection and your hot will be providing limited information so be prepared while you will be dealing with more damage to your enemies soldiers will have less hp requiring you to choose your engagements wisely that also applies to vehicles as they are tankier with increased hp but also take more weak point damage neither soldiers nor vehicles will automatically regenerate health in hardcore making squad play and teamwork even more important and lastly, traversal sprint is disabled and downed characters will have to crawl to safety. Circle of Hell will include hardcore on Conquest, Rush, and Breakthrough on Redacted and Orbital, and with updated visuals as part of the event on Battle of the Bulge and El Alamein. So now let's take a look at all the changes that uh, will be applied to M1 Garant because it's now making its way from Battlefield Portal to the All Out Warfare and everyone will be able to play it on Battlefield 2042. So, during this event, players will be able to unlock the M1 Garand, which has received significant changes to fit the world of Battlefield 2042. So the damage model and the number of magazines have increased, recoil has been lessened, accuracy and recoil are impacted by moving and a player's stance, the M1 will be most accurate when using it while being crouched and least accurate when firing on the move. Available in the DMR category, the M1 Garand comes equipped with three scopes, the Nadar for me range and the two times and six times scopes for players that prefer long range engagements while the m1 will excel at close to medium range due to its high damage and rate of fire it will be effective at most ranges so how i'm going to use this weapon is going to be probably like something like the lever action gvt 4570 probably i used to play that weapon like a pocket sniper and that is exactly how I feel the M1 Garand will be. It's really odd that they actually decided to only add one weapon. Maybe they're saving like uh, the portal weapons for future to slowly add them over time. So they don't run out of ammo until 2025, like at, until the end of 2025, because that's when the next Battlefield game is coming out. Uh, pr that's probably the mindset. Okay, they can actually do it way fast. Like it's really an afternoon's job in the office. It's not that complicated. It just needs some uh, tweaking to the weapons and that's it. But we have to wait and see. So here you can take a look at the roadmap for this event. In week one, which starts from October 29, uh, we've got Conquest Hardcore. Then in week two, we've got Rush Hardcore and Conquest Hardcore at the same time. For week three, we're going to have Breakthrough, Rush and Conquest Hardcore. And that's going to be the same for week four. Uh, it's just about the maps. The maps are going to change from week to week. And the Battlefield portal experiences will also change with it so in my opinion the most important thing that's going to happen with this event is 
actually having another vault weapon into the all-out warfare game. It adds just a small bit of variety and I don't really think uh, like having a hardcore event is like anywhere near something exciting as content, you know, as new content. That's not going to be uh, anything exciting, to be honest. Also, let's take another look at what hardcore experience actually brings. Uh, so here are the key features. We're going to have no minimaps. Uh, we're going to have refined squad and inventory widgets, removed enemy markers, remix audio for improved perception, reduced health, increased projectile speed, like everything from your bullets to like your grenades, everything. Uh, the projectile speeds are increased, adjusted weapon damage according to weapon class, vehicle health and damage output increased, vehicle weak point damage increased, increased reinforcements, increased objectives, capture time and objective impact, weapon selection based on class. We're going to have no traversal sprint, like the tactical sprint that we guys know. We're going to have no slides. And I guess I heard about having friendly fire on. I don't know. I'm not really a big fan of uh, like hardcore. I've never played Battlefield hardcore, to be honest. And I just don't like it. That's my honest uh, review on this. But if they're doing it, I'm just going to give it a try and see how things will be. Also for cosmetics, we're going to have a new legendary Zane skin. And it's called the Profane Apostle. As you can see, uh, it looks really badass, to be honest. Uh, looks exactly from like World War II. It's, it's beautiful. We're also going to have some more skins for like Crawford, Dozer, Casper and all. And we're also going to have some weapon skins for like the Desert Eagle, for the X-Fat Draugr. We're going to have weapon charms and all that. So in terms of cosmetics, this event is going to be a rich one. Now about this new event pass, it's going to have 30 tiers. 15 of them will include the free rewards, uh, one of which being the M1 Garand, which I think it's going to be the, uh, the tier 15 of the event pass. And then the other 15 rewards are going to be the, the premium rewards. And those will be for people who have paid for this event pass. Also, as you can see, as a part of this Halloween event, the Battle of Bulge is getting a new eerie look. It looks absolutely amazing, guys. Like if the 2042 version of the map looked like this, it would be awesome. Like, look at the environment, look at the atmosphere. It's great. And also the El Alamein is getting a new light as well. You can also see that here. And yeah, that covers everything about this new event. The only downside here is like limiting everything to hardcore only. I don't know why should we just play hardcore for a straight month? That's ridiculous. And calling it the fan favorite mode. I don't know. I'm not really sure about how things will be, but I don't think there will be a lot of people playing. There's going to be a lot of buzz in the first and second to third day, probably. And then people are going to just go back to normal breakthrough and normal conquest. Every single time that happens with 2042 events. Like, there's no exception, really. So you guys go down in the comment section and let me know what you think about Battlefield Hardcore in general. Are you guys enjoying it? Have you ever played 2042 in Hardcore? And if you have, have you really liked it? Let me know about your experience. Let me know about having the M1 Garand as one of the weapons in 2042 and uh, just let me know what you think about the new circle of hell event hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope this was helpful and thanks for watching guys until next time stay cool